In your top story, a Sunday Times report seems to suggest that the Black Business Council's Sandy Lezungu has diluted his stance on calls for the removal of President Jacob Zuma being completely unnecessary. Now, the story insinuates that while Zungu still supports the fact that Zuma is not fully to blame for the ANC's woes, he believes that ANC must decide on the president's recall. Zungu said in the interview that he is of the belief that a weak rule ruling party and flawed leadership election process is a problem that needs to be dealt with. The Black Business Council also raised concern over so-called mixed messages coming from ministers on pertinent issues such as energy, judicial inquiries and the running of SOEs. And now for some clarity on the Black Business Council stand, we are joined by Deputy President Sandile Zungu. A very good evening to you, sir, and thank you so much for your time. Now, Mr. Zungu, your interview in the Sunday Times uh, comes across as if you have diluted your stance on calls for the removal of President Jacob Zuma being completely unnecessary. Now, it also comes across as if you, uh, as a matter of uh, afterthought, also blame the president for the problems uh, within the government and in the party. Is there uh, a change uh, in your position at this point? Well, we have, uh, we have uh, obviously, as an organization, um, you know, uh, we hold a, a, our own view. But I was in the Sunday Times in my personal capacity. Um, I still hold a very firm view that uh, the president, um, Zuma, must uh, be allowed to serve his whole term. Um, but uh, I did also outline that uh, uh, some of the bigger challenges that are faced by uh, the organization need to be tackled by the organization. Um, and that view um, is held uh, quite strongly by a lot of people. That. Um, the ANC has got to uh, go to this uh, special uh, conference uh, or by any other name um, before it goes to an elective conference to discuss, among other things, um, how it elects its leaders, not just the president, not just the top six, but uh, the National Executive Committee, to look at a proper mix of skills um, you know, among that collective so that it can really deal with the challenges that the country faces from time to time. So the issue of the president being removed um, or being recalled does not really arise. Um, he must be allowed to serve his full term. And now, uh, the Sunday Times also uh, slips in a line saying, and I quote, uh, Zungu, uh, who is 49 and de facto uh, leader of the BBC and its most eloquent spokesman, bankrolled Zuma's bid for the presidency and remains close to him. The, this may sound like a clear attempt to project you as close to the president and as somebody who is in his camp. Uh, what it does is that it um, creates a suspicion around your backing for the president. A readers of the Sunday Times will say he is defending uh, the president not on merits, but because he is a, a Zuma man. Well, in, in politics, um, <clears throat> uh, loyalty is very important. Um, you don't teach people that have been loyal and um, supportive of just willy-nilly. Um, but it's also very f uh, good to mention that um, as a leader of a black business, uh, there are so many things that um, uh, President Zuma has done for the organization such as the Black Business Council, which uh, stand him in good stead uh, for continued support. Such as, for example, when we're faced with real difficulties and wanting to break away from Musa, he is one of the persons that would have con uh, consulted and who gave us uh, unconditional support. Uh, we spoke about a need for the change of the narrative. Um, we're hurt by the uh, unabated use of uh, tenderpreneurs, and which was almost like defining black participation in business. And we called for a change of the narrative. And he's one of the persons that um, uh, took the issue of black industrialists and made it center stage. And now we even have a black industrialist program funded by government. Uh, 
And uh, there are many other things, such as uh, uh, South Africa's participation in the BRICS, um, with uh, black leadership in business being at the center of um, you know, representing South Africa in the BRICS Business Council. Uh, we're very proud of those things, and uh, that actually uh, augur um, for our continued support of the president. Um, where, where criticism is deserved, we'll actually meet out that criticism. And um, we obviously choose the platforms because we, we do not believe that um, you know, joining in the populist calls um, adds much value to the uh, deeper conversation around how to transform our society and around how to uh, restore uh, confidence in the institutions of state as well as in the glorious movement of the ANC. And now, um, your statement uh, further gives the impression that you are suggesting that ANC should consider the idea of recalling uh, the president. Well, that is your interpretation and, um, uh, uh, of how the article is read. Um, and obviously, you can direct your question to the right of the article. Um, and I've stated my position, and I, I will guess the position of... Um, uh, the organization that I subscribe to, uh, that um, the power um, lies in the ANC, and the ANC uh, recognizes itself as a center of power. And therefore, all the people who are deployed by it in the executive um, are accountable to it first and foremost, and it's only the ANC who can decide on their fate. Um, and discipline requires that uh, people direct themselves to the ANC. Uh, the issue of the recall um, is obviously an instrument that is available to the ANC, but there I hasten to add um, that um, it's, an, it's an instrument that it has used um, to the great discontentment of the unity of that organization, and it's not an instrument that it must use willy-nilly because it can have disastrous effects on the hegemon of the ANC. Um, so to the extent that um, you know, uh, I, I, I um, remind people that that instrument is always available, it does not necessarily mean that uh, one purports to, to, to encourage the recall, not at all. Mm. And now, you say that uh, you have complained uh, to the Lutuli House about the suboptimal performance of the executive. Can you elaborate uh, the instances where this happened? Well, the suboptimal performance of the ANC um, manifests itself in the loss of support um, uh, uh, that it has uh, realized, um, not just in, in the big metros, but uh, throughout the country. Um, you know, that is suboptimal. It does not mean that it is poor, uh, but it's certainly suboptimal because there is so much that we expect from this glorious movement. Um, and when it comes to how the organization uh, performs, um, you hear leaders of the organization um, at various gatherings uh, say one thing, and uh, an opposing group at a different gathering saying a different thing. Uh, that confuses the hell uh, out of uh, South African people, especially those who love the movement. Uh, they expect, at the very least, discipline that um, those who are entrusted to lead it, especially those who belong to the uh, National Executive Committee, must lead by example. So the suboptimal performance is a function of many things, including poor discipline. Um, by the time you get to people who are deployed in the executive, or even in parliament, um, legislative arm of, uh, of, of the state, um, you, you see that also uh, repeating itself. So what I've cited are just uh, a few instances. And you know, if I'm invited to mention examples uh, at another time, absolutely. Now, is it just about the policy confusion around independent power producers and energy mix, or were there other instances uh, that worried you as well, like uh, the very public campaign mounted by the finance minister, uh, Gordon, and his supporters within and outside uh, the ANC against the Hawks probe? Well, one example in the energy mix is a perfect example. Um, you know, uh, there may be other examples 
whether it's in transport or it could be in the relationship between um, the, the Minister of uh, Finance and the, the Hawks. Um, absolutely, those are topical examples of um, you know, the, the, uh, the shake-up in the centre which is supposed to be holding. Uh, so far, so good was it is holding, but um, it is caution that um, the tolerance levels among South African people to the, um, to the clutter, uh, to the noise, um, is not unlimited. Uh, and therefore, if the ANC wants to continue uh, to be at the center um, of uh, the people and to have the continued confidence um, that has been bestowed uh, on it from time to time, uh, that it's got to address those issues of um, communication, of coherence, and of uh, hegemony. Um, and differences must continue to be allowed to exist, but um, how they're expressed, especially in public, um, is something that needs to be attended to. Mm. And now, while you say that uh, you fully uh, support uh, Minister uh, Gordon, can you possibly endorse his use of the public platform, which in a way subverted the due process of law? Even the ANC leadership had to warn him and say no one is above the law, and that if he continued to play victim and link his uh, fate uh, to that of the economy, he will end up isolating uh, himself within the government. Well, I think when it comes to certain institutions, such as um, you know, the Minister of Finance, such as the President, um, or just generally uh, members of the executive, one must be very muted uh, in terms of uh, expressing uh, criticism towards those people. Because um, you know, they, there is a, almost an immediate and direct impact uh, on the performance of uh, certain um, instruments of, of the economy. Um, you know, the, 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 you know it, it has been stated many times that um, no person is above the law. Uh, it's a general statement. Uh, I'm not above the law. Uh, the Minister of Finance is definitely not above the law. Uh, needless to state that um, not a single South African, even the head of the Constitutional Court is not above the law. Um, but it's just about how we uh, uh, address ourselves when we criticize those people. That has got a huge bearing on how economic indicators uh, perform. And I think we have to be absolutely sensitive to those because uh, we don't have much headspace. Um, we have um, the ratings agencies on our back. Uh, we have um, a whole lot of other confidence affecting indicators uh, really. Uh, calling for our response.